Tricky that is. Nice, nice shoot. Yeah. That was it. Today is 10-22 day, October 22nd. And I am making a video to honor and salute the Ruger 1022. It's a gun you can find on all corners of pretty much the planet. This thing has, I don't know how many sales it has. I'll put a statistic here in the corner how many millions of these have actually sold. But you can go into pretty much any Walmart, anywhere that sells guns, and you're going to find one of these. Um, in today's dollars, 2024, I'm, I haven't shot for one in forever, but I'm thinking you could get one for right around $300, maybe even a little bit less. When I picked this one up, oh, this one here is, I would say, 10 to 15 years old. I think I paid just over $200 for it. But back in the day, there was two semi-automatic rifles that were neck and neck. And this here is your Marlin Model 60. I feel like this is a gun that has to be talked about when talking about the Ruger 1022 because when I was a kid growing up, it was between these two. I remember shopping and looking in the JCPenney and Sears catalogs and my dream was to always own Marlin Model 60. This was my favorite. These tubular magazines were ideal. They were ideal especially if you had a bolt action 22 because you could load them up with so many rounds of shorts and you could shoot all day. They also made quick loaders, these long tubular autofill devices that you could simply touch to the front of this and speed load these tubular magazines up. But as time would have it, the Ruger 1022 won out. And the reason is this right here. The fact that you have detachable magazines and high capacity uh, magazines. This is an aftermarket 25 shot. I've got many different 25 shot magazines, but back in the, the 80s, you could buy a 50 round banana clip all day long for one of these. And that's, in my opinion, what made this uh, the best selling rifle and gave it the edge over the Marlin Model 60. Um, when I was a kid shopping for these, you could get a Marlin Model 60 for $89.99 or $99.99. It was under $100. So the price point was, was excellent. This was a little more expensive. This was, was about $20 more, which was a big deal back then. Um, and, and when I was a kid, I, I thought the Marlin Model 60 was going to be plenty that I would never need detachable magazines and I could shoot all day long on, on the tube. But as time would tell, this one out. So today we're honoring this gun and I'm giving it a salute. There are so many variations. There are so many accessories for this. And there are so many manufacturers that essentially use that same design and capitalized on, on everything that Ruger did right. This here is my Tactical Solutions Ruger 1022. None of these parts are actually Ruger. These are all Tactical Solutions, but essentially what they did was they manufactured the uh, everything, the barrel, the receiver, I mean, this is an aftermarket Magpul stock. Um, everything about this is essentially 
your Ruger 1022 on steroids. We've come a long way in uh, the original Ruger 1022. So today we're going to introduce the Ruger 1022 to a youth who has never shot a firearm before. So remember, before we touch anything, we never ever point this anywhere in anyone's direction, I ever, know, ever know. under any circumstance. And we also <laughs> never ever put our finger on the trigger unless we're ready to actually shoot something. Okay. Okay, those are I the two you. major, most important things, okay? Okay. If you do those two things, you're going to, everything is going to be fine. Okay. When you are actually ready to shoot at something, you always want to double check and make sure there's not somebody walking. You got to know what you're shooting at, right? So mm -hmm. it's very important because these things will kill somebody, okay? Alright, put those on. Oh god. Put those on. Okay. Ear protection. So before I put one in there, just hold this and show me how you're going to hold it. Guns. This, this you want right, right in your shoulder here, like that. Okay. You want to get, you want to, yep, that's, that's not bad. You want to get your eyes down and try to look through there. Can you see the crosshairs through there? Yes, I just can't see the target. Okay, well, move it, hold it up and move it around until you can see. And put your put your elbows on the table. <clears throat> yeah, get some so steady, yep, so you can be yep, steady. There you go. Take some time to try to get comfortable with it before you. Have... Yeah, your yeah. hand somewhere in the in the middle here is probably good. Middle. And then, like Billy said, you use the table to kind of steady yourself. Just get comfortable with. Can you see the crosshairs in there? Because some you might have to go further or, or closer to that to be able to see it. I could see stuff. Okay, can you put can, it on the target. Can you see the, like the big target over there? Yeah. Can Wait. you line up the crosshairs on there? Like about that the, area. The cross. Right yeah, you look. Your eyes look a little too close to the to the scope. Yeah. There. Well, I, it's kind of. Well, get take some getting used to. Something's covering my view. It uh, takes some getting used to. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Finger, okay. finger, never on the trigger until you have your target lined up and you're ready to shoot. Yes, sir. Okay, and then right here, this button when you press this, see how it's red? Yeah. That means blood. So that means if you were to pull the trigger right now and there was a round in there, it would go off. Pew. So you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get it lined up. You're gonna press this button and then it's gonna be ready to fire. Okay. All right. You ready? It's kind of... Put your ears all the way on, covering up your ears. Yeah, because I couldn't... Okay. Is there something in there now? There's something in there now. Okay. The safety is still yeah. on. So okay. what, get yourself kind of comfortable. Down. They should have had the first down either way. Let me, let me get my ear protection on here. They should have just went for the Get yourself board. comfortable on the target. Be up by a touchdown. That was dumb. Hold on, finger off the trigger. Can you see the target? Yeah. Can you see the crosshairs on the target? Yeah. Okay, are you comfortable? You feel good? Yeah. Press this button right here. Which one? Right here. Yep. Right here? There. Okay. Press that. Keep your finger off the trigger until you have it lined up. When you're ready, slowly squeeze the trigger. Yep. Slowly. When you're ready, press the trigger. Perfect. So listen, finger off mm. the trigger. There's more rounds in there, so okay. if you pull the trigger again, it's gonna go bow, off again. Bow, bow, bow. Keep going. Here. Okay. I'm gonna let's put the safety back on and try it again. Okay. Right. Yeah, hit the target. Where's the button? It's right there. Okay. You'll hear so it wait. when it hits. Always finger off the trigger until you're ready, right? Yeah. When you're ready, push the button and then press the trigger again. And you can shoot. You can keep shooting. Yeah. Yes. There's ten rounds in there. You don't so have to. Wait, did I hit the target? No. You no. Didn't. That's okay. Was it close? I don't know. I don't know. Yet. You need you need to watch. Yeah. You'll see where you hit if you keep looking through the scope. Don't put the gun down right away until you're yeah. out of ammo. This gun this gun doesn't blast you back, so you don't good. have to be afraid of it. It's not gonna hurt well, you. Well, I'm not afraid of it. I'm afraid oh, yeah. of me doing something wrong. No, you're good. We're right here with you. Just get lined up and then press the safety off when you're ready. Just be real steady. Just don't try to jerk it. Just real steady. Slowly squeeze the trigger when you're on the target. You want to get this up into your shoulder there, like that. Okay. Yep, that's better. Perfect. That looks good. Where's the button? I can't. Yep, you got it. Push that in. Yep. Slowly squeeze it. 
There you got okay, that hold one. On. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep and it up and keep going. Keep taking shots. You got get this up into your. Up no, into it's the, good. It's. Yep. There you go. There you got the big one. I saw the bullet come out. Try to get an orange one. There you got that one. Nice. nice. You can see the bullet come out. There. Nice. Good hit. Nice white one. And you hit that, you hit it, right? Hang on, where's the button? When you're, is it you empty? can push it back the other way. I don't know where it is. You gotta press it from the other side. The, oh, the safety's back on. Yeah. Are you done? No. You're just making sure? Yeah. You're just taking a break? It might, you yeah. only had 10 shots, so. I probably took, what, six? Yeah, there's none, it's empty anyway. Oh, okay. All right. Time Ryan's ever shot a gun before. Nice. Well, good yeah. job. So you did a good job. The biggest thing is, is it doesn't matter if you hit anything when you you have to make sure you're safe. You know. You might have to adjust your face forward or backward to get to be able to see those crosshairs in there. Yeah. When you're ready, just turn off the safety and. It is, I love it. There you go. You need to put it in your shoulder. Is it, my, like is it not? Up, up here? Like right in the... Right in the crease, no. Down a little. Down right there. If yep. you get your arm out a little further forward and put your elbow down like yep. this, you can steady it a lot better. Yep. There you go. Nice. Yeah, buddy. That one almost isn't even fair. It's so easy to shoot that. What? That gun. I mean, you can hit anything you want. See how easy that is? Nice. Nice shooting. Yeah. That was it. So 13 with one in the chamber. Technically, I have 14. See if this thing still shoots accurately. Yeah.